Hello and welcome, Kevin Fadi here today. Now, I've been involved in the list building industry for over six years, and over the past six years, I've built a list of over a quarter of a million people. Now, these are all responsive subscribers that actually allow me to live the life of my dreams, is what you could call it. Now, what I've done here is, I'm just a quick video on the four important types of list building methods that work for the good points and bad points of each method. So we're gonna, we've got solar ads, giveaway events, ad swaps, and paper lead programs. Now, I know there's been hundreds of courses out there on covering three of these methods, or at least two of these methods. There's been, and there's a lot of people teaching, and I know a lot that can only teach two or three of these methods as well. There is very few people teaching all four methods. So that's what this video is about today. I wanna to talk about the, the good points and the bad points of each. So, we're going to start with solo ads. Now, solo ads, the first point number one is solo ads work. They're fast. So, so sorry, point number one, solo ads are fast. When you purchase a solo ad within either a few hours of it sending or a few hours of you purchasing, you have instant results. And if you, if you follow correct, etc., you have instant results. So they're fast and they work. And another good part of solo ads is there is lots of providers out there. So if you're looking to build a business fast, you can go along, okay, I'm gonna purchase lots of solo ads, I'm gonna get instant results, and because there's lots of people to buy from, this is gonna work. Now, the bad parts of solo ads. They are complete in two days, meaning that in general, more solo ads you buy, all the clicks are gonna be delivered within two days. So what is required is to reinvest your money or continue investing to continue a steady flow of leads. Now, please trust me on this. The most important and vital part of business is consistency. It is better for me to get 1,000 leads every week for say for eight weeks, which will give me 8,000 leads, than 8,000 leads overnight. So consistency is the key. Um, it's not about getting a bunch of leads quickly. It's about building it up and all this be growing. Um, that is important. So complete in two days is always a bad part. Once you invest your money in two days, you need to invest again. Bad part number two of solo ads. If you have low conversions, you're gonna lose your money. With a solo ad, you will always pay, okay, please send a thousand visitors to my page. And in general, 30%, 40% conversion. If your page converts at 20%, you're gonna find it difficult to make a return because even the number of subscribers and then it's gonna reduce the number of people who see your special offer. So that is a bad part of solo ads and you just have to take that into account when buying them. You're not always going to get the same results from, the, from different providers. So which will bring us to the next thing. There is lots of scammers in the solo ad industry. Now it's 2013 now. In the last two years there's probably the amount of solo ad sellers that come in. Maybe there was 50 three years ago, and now we've over 500. So you can see huge, huge increase. And there is about 10% of these people that are actually scamming people. So this is a, a downfall to the solo ad industry as a whole, but unfortunately that is the way it went. So the next I want to talk about is giveaway events. Now giveaway events, again, they work very, very good. A giveaway event is, for people who don't know, um, you would have a gifts page, for example, and you'd have offer six gifts on the page or 10 gifts on the page. All these gifts would belong to different marketers. Now, every time someone clicks on the link and they go to the opt-in page, they, each marketer will get a subscriber if they opt in for that gift. So it works out well. In general, you could say, get 10 people to put up a gift and you could have them all send 100 clicks, which means you'd have a thousand people visiting the gifts page and you're gonna get more exposure. That's a good way. So giveaway events are free to set up. You could use HTML to set it up and do it manually, or you can buy scripts for, I, I personally have a script for sale, which is less than $10. So they're practically free to, to set up seven days of traffic. Now, what I mean by that is seven days of traffic the easiest way, most giveaway events go for 7 days, 10 days or 21 days. But in general, people are only going to send traffic over 7 days. I've run a lot of giveaway events and I've been involved in a lot. 
So the good ones will get you seven days of solid, consistent traffic. So which is actually better than a, than a solo ad. If you run a giveaway event, you can get traffic for up to as exactly seven days, 10 days. Which brings you back to many lists. If you have 10 people sending you traffic and 10 people being presented your gift, it's 10 different internet marketers are sending traffic to your page. It's better than buying a solo of one person. So this is one of the reasons I actually love giveaway events because if you've got 20 people in, you're getting a piece of everybody's list rather than going out and buying 20 solo ones. So giveaway events, they're good, they work. Now, here's the bad points of giveaway events. There is lots to prepare. Um, even though a script will come that they can be set up in two minutes, you should, if you want people to join your event, you want to put up original graphics, a really good set of graphics. You want a good a copy to entice people to join your giveaway event. So you have lots to prepare. You've got to go, you have to find JV partners, you have to think of prizes, you have to make sure everyone's happy. Now, quality prizes is a must. Uh, my last giveaway event, we got over 6,500 6 subscribers and I gave away in total value $9,000 in prizes for that event. Now, a lot of the value was trading and products as well, but I think there's about three or 4,000 in cash for 6,500 subscribers, which was good. But I did a lot of work, I put up quality prizes, and over the giveaway events in the last three or four years that I've ran, I pretty much have the same partners. So this is the reason I only run them every once a year, every six months, because you get the same people. So giveaway events work, but alone, when you can only do them every six months, they're not consistent enough. You do need, you do need more. Okay, I just want to give a quick example of an ad swap for the marketers who don't know. Um, let's say you have a list of 2,000 people and you can go out and find other marketers with a list of 2,000 people and you can exchange traffic. You can send his offer for free and he sends your offer. Just exchange of squeeze page. You don't exchange money, but you're exchanging subscribers, knowing that you will have to mail your list. And that is what an ad swap is. It is free once you have a list. So if you want to send out an email to someone else's offer, they do the same for you. You can get a bunch of subscribers in return instantly for that. So the results are very similar to a solo ad. Um, you get instant results, instant subscribers. You can judge what is happening straight away. And the next good part is you can provide value for free. Now, what I mean by that is if you're actually picky about who you find, who you swap with, you can find people, there's a lot of people out there who actually have good reports and good videos that it would be a good move to give it to your subscribers. And that way, and you're going to be giving value away to your list and you don't have to come up with a free report or anything like that. So this does work. In return, you're going to be getting a bunch of new subscribers into your list. So the bad parts of an ad swap is you do need a list. If you start off and you've got zero subscribers, you're new, and you need to build a list, you cannot start with ad swaps. You need to use the solo ad, run a giveaway event, or start a pay per program. The other part is the more ad swaps you do, um, the basically you're gonna get a higher number of complaints. If you're constantly, if you're not picky about what you swap, and you're sending offers that don't relate just for the, just for the sake of doing an ad swap, you're gonna get a high complaint rate. And the more you do ad swaps, the less of response there is from your subscribers. So there is good parts of ad swaps. There's, it's a free way of growing your list. But the down part is if you consistently do it, you have to remember that your subscribers are going to be getting a lot of emails from other marketers as well, which in return will lower their response. And in general, there's not going to be a lot of buyers floating on the ad swap lists. I won't say you can't turn these into buyers, but there wouldn't be a high percentage of buyers on these lists. So the next is pay per lead program. Now, this is probably methods that very few people are talking about or very few people are teaching. And if you've scrolled down this page, you would realize that that's exactly what this video is about. Now, in, I'm just gonna talk about this quickly, but in a minute, I'm just gonna wipe the board and we're just gonna start a new thing on pay per lead. But quickly, um, pay per lead program, Rather than buying a solo ad um, and getting it from one marketer, you can, get, you can get 20, 30, 50 people, 100 people 
to send you traffic or thousands of people if you're using a CPR network. Now, the other part is you can only pay for the top six countries. And 99% of the pay per view programs out there will pay for United States, England, Ireland, Canada, New Zealand, and Australia. So you can set the options on a lot as well. So you don't have to pay for the lower quality traffic. And the last thing is you get the leads first. Now, this is the only other type of traffic generation I know that you can get hundreds of thousands of subscribers within a few days without putting money up front. So that is really good part thing about paper lead programs. Now, the downfalls of most paper lead programs, not this one, but the downfall of most of them are is they're difficult to set up. They're very expensive to either get coded or they're very expensive to purchase the script, install it, and you need a lot of knowledge. Another issue is there's a lot of CPA networks, for example, that will accept offers some days, but a lot of them actually will refuse you. So you're still under the control of someone else. And with these CPA offers and with a lot of different networks, you're going to have tens of thousands of affiliates straight away sending your offer. People you don't know, and it's not exactly good for your business and it's very hard to control. So these are the downfalls of a, the normal CPA program. So I'm just going to wipe this quickly. Okay, what I've done is I've wiped the board and we're still left with the four things we started. Sold of ads, giveaway events, ad swaps and paper lead. And what I want to talk about here is probably the most important thing out of all marketing. Why did we get into this business? Um, money is one thing, but I think a lot of people, it was the time. They want more time family, they want more time with friends, they want to actually enjoy the success that they're having. So with solo ads is the fastest way and basically is the quickest way to get a list because all you need is a lot of money fast to go out and buy a lot of traffic. What you must do in order to make it profitable and to make it work, you must consistently monitor your results, noting that 10% of the time you're going to get ripped off and you're going to get scammed. You must change your funnel, change your offers. You must always worry about your squeeze page conversion, noting that if it drops below 30%, you're going to lose money. Um, so solo ads is it's good, but in general, I've always looked at the solo ad business whether you're buying solo ads for, um, to grow your list or sell it, it's about two hours per day. So I'm just gonna write that in. Two hours per day. Okay. So giveaway events. Now, you can only run a giveaway event every six months or every year. And I run a lot of them and there is a lot of work to get them set up. So I've always noticed it would take me about four full days to get my event set up. Um, it would take me another two days, the day before it launches and the day of launch, to basically look after the JVs, make sure everyone's happy, make sure everything's working correct. And then on the end of the giveaway event, I would have to make sure the stats are correct, check everything and pay out the prizes. So in general, I've always put giveaway events down to five days work, eight hours a day. It's about 40 hours work to set up a giveaway event and to run a giveaway event. That's, it's not bad because you can get a lot out of it. Um, a lot of people, now I sell the script that you can set up giveaway events in minutes, but to run a giveaway event quickly and or correctly, you must dedicate about 40 hours of your time to it. Now, ad swaps is basically, ad swapping is a full time job. You need at least two to four hours a day. Or when I used to do ad swaps in general, you could have two hours in the evening or two hours, of, two hours in the morning, two hours in the evening to look after your ad swaps. So ad swaps, full time job, a lot of work, a lot of good parts to it, a lot of bad parts to it. So ad swaps, again, I'm just gonna put down three hours a day for ad swaps. So now the next I want to talk about is a paper lead program and the paper lead program that we have here on offer today for you. It takes about 15 minutes to install this. If you can install a WordPress blog, you can install this plugin. So we're going to take 15 minutes of setup time 
Now, if you need any help with that, we are going to be around and more than happy to help with helping you install this plugin. Now, the next is you need to connect your current squeeze page to it, which is simply right click, copy the code and paste it into it. So I'm going to put another 15 minutes for that maximum. So what you've done is you've installed an event, you've installed the script and you have set up your squeeze page. So 30 minutes in total. The next, you're going to select all the countries that you want to pay out for, which in general takes about five minutes. People select the top six countries. The very next thing you need to do is set the amount you want to pay per lead. So all in all, to set up a pay per lead script, and we've set up many of them before, it takes about an hour and anyone can do it. Again, if you need help, we will be there to help you. So I'm going to go one hour setup. And that's exactly what it takes. So the next part I want to talk about is you need to go out and you need to find affiliates. Now, in general, what I do for my paper lead script is once you open up a new one, you're going to get 25, 30, maybe 40 people joining, and you're going to get about 10 to 15 good affiliate selling traffic. So that is all you really need if you want to test out a few offers, you want to see is everything going okay. 10, 15 affiliates sending you 100 subscribers um, a month is you, it's a really automated traffic. So you're going to spend another hour um, basically posting in the Skype groups, posting in the, in the JV groups, um, posting in the Facebook groups, anywhere like that, or even posting to your current affiliates. In one hour, you will accumulate 15, 20, 30 affiliates, depending on where you are. But again, if you're in the Skype groups, it's easy. Now, the next is you have everything set up. You, you've already an idea of how your squeeze page converts, but knowing that it's a pay per lead program, you're only paying per lead. So if your squeeze page converts at 20%, you're not gonna lose all the money that you would with a solo ad, and you're not gonna be wasting a lot of clicks that you would have with an ad swap. So if your page converts at 20%, it's not the end of the world. Now, I'm using the same um, for my PLR site, the same squeeze page for the last four years and people are still sending traffic to it. So it's all just new affiliates. So you have everything set up and you found your affiliates, you went in, you set up your script. The very next thing you need to worry about is paying your affiliates. In general, all my programs, I choose to pay them on the first of every single month. Now, some affiliate programs pay by weekly, every on the 15th and the first. I choose to pay on the first. So to do that, I log into the script, I click, um, I download a list of the affiliates and their PayPal email address and what I owe them in one file. And this takes about 30 seconds. The next, I log into PayPal, I click upload and I click send. So this takes maximum five minutes. Okay, so this is what it takes per month to run a pay-per-lead program. Now, what you're getting from a pay-per-lead program is the benefits of absolutely everything here. Now, as if you've been following me in my marketing for any length of time, you would know that I no longer do solo ads and I no longer do ad swaps. The reason is you're all, you have to invest in traffic to make your business work. There's no questions asked. You have to run, so I solo ads, I run major big um, giveaway events if you want to build your business. But with, um, with paper lead, you cut out the risk of conversions. So it all the benefits of a solo ad when it comes to lots of traffic. The next is a giveaway event. You get the same benefits of getting 20 or 30 people onto your list and you control the affiliates. If you put it on a CPA network, you're gonna have hundreds of affiliates sending traffic. If you control the affiliates, um, you, you cut that risk completely. And an ad swaps, as I said, if you can, if you want to run a paper lead program and do ad swaps and do solo ads, that is good. My advice is get the leads and keep them and put them through your own funnel. And these are your leads and you have consistent leads coming in daily. After one or two months, then you can use automation rules to move them to a swap or solo list. So this is exactly a method which does work. Now, these, all these methods are the exact same. You're only trying to do one thing you're trying to build a subscriber list. They all cost money, they all take time, but take into difference two hours per day, 40 hours per giveaway event, three hours per day, or two and a half hours to set it up, and then five minutes a month to manage. 
So on this page, guys, you're going to see all the details, all the features. You're going to see a link to support. And if you have any questions, you can just contact us and let us know. So I hope you enjoyed the, the training at the start of the video. Um, I hope you can see how powerful a paper lead script is. And you can see why I choose to use it in my business. So for a limited time only, guys, we've got a huge discount available on the script, different licenses. So make a decision and understand that time is a very, very important part of marketing. So thank you and have a great day.